what's up guys welcome back to my channel this video i'm actually gonna do a voiceover um i don't know i think it would look better or it would be better so you guys will see what i'm actually doing uh to start off i am using the anastasia beverly hills deep brow in the color dark brown uh to fill in the eyebrows i start off uh in the bottom and I outline the top and fill in the inside. Um, in the front of the eyebrow, I don't add any more product to the brush. I just use the product that is left over from what I used in the eyebrows. And here I was just cleaning them out. Uh, to clean them out, I'm using the concealer. I think I was using the shade tip concealer in the color medium. And um, I was just blending it out using the same brush just to make them look nice and sharp. For the top part of the eyebrow, I mix what was left over of the concealer with some foundation so it wouldn't be too bright on top and it would be more blended out with her foundation. Uh, as a base for my eyeshadows, I will be using the same concealer and um, I was blending it out with my finger. Uh, I'm just gonna create a smoky eye using the Jaclyn Hill palette. Uh, I'm using a shade that is like a few shade darker than her skin tone. That will be my transition color uh, and I just use the fluffy brush i believe this one is from bh cosmetics is the v5 um, this one is a morphe brush uh, i forgot which one it is i think it's the e33 i think for a smoky eye the best way to create the best smoky eye is just uh starting off with the lightest brown and work yourself up to the darkest and just you know blend everything here i'm just going back to the first brush i used i didn't add no more eyeshadow i'm just blending the crease color just blend and blend away for my glitter i'm using a stila glitter i think it's called kitten drama or karma i don't know i always get confused with the names um but i will have it down below uh, it's like a really nice rose gold uh, i like to apply it with the brush and you don't really have to use a concealer to create a cut crease you can do it with the same glitter you know glitter fixes everything and glitter makes everything better all right moving on to eyeliner for eyeliner i'm using a gel eyeliner we received this eyeliner in one of the boxy charms uh i can't remember which one it was but it was like a little ink jar and oh my god it is one of my favorites now uh and also the brush uh i believe we also got those brushes in a boxy charm i will have it down below i think those two together make the perfect wing eyeliner it's my favorite uh, i highly recommend it and it's so 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 easy now i am just curling her eyelashes using a tart uh, eyelash curler now i'm just applying a little bit of mascara just to get her eyelashes ready for her falsies later on look at her just staring into your soul <laughs> now i'm just cleaning off any fallout from her eyeshadows using a makeup remover moving on to primer this is my favorite primer of all time this is the benefit professional i love it so much because it just makes your skin so soft so smooth and it blurs out everything it like hides all your pores and everything it's amazing highly recommend it for foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation and also I'm using this facial spray from Mario Badescu. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I like to spray a little bit of this uh, facial spray. I think it just makes the foundation look more healthy, like more like it is their skin, not so flat and matte. For concealer, I'm using the Shade Tip Concealer from Tarte. I'm using three shades. I'm using light medium, medium, and the color Rich. I'm using the lightest shades uh, for her under eye and also for the bridge of her nose and just to add a little bit of highlight to her face. The rich color, I like to use that uh, for a little bit of contour. And I'm just using my Beauty Blender just to blend this concealer. I hope you guys like these kind of videos and if you guys like me to do the talk through uh, just let me know in the comments below I would try my best to you know just feel more videos like this um, so yeah just leave me a little comment down below anyways moving on I'm using my favorite favorite 
powder this is the Laura Mercier translucent powder I just actually purchased a new one because you know your girl uses all the time uh, I like to use that to set the concealer uh, moving on to the bottom eyelash I just added a little bit of the brown shades that I apply on the top lid and here I'm just um, dusting off all the powder Moving on to bronzer, I am using my favorite bronzer from MAC. This is the Give Me Sun. Uh, I just like to apply this with a really fluffy brush. Uh, I apply it to her cheekbones and a little bit on her forehead just to bring back a little bit of color back to her face. Uh, now moving on to blush, I am using the Anastasia Blush Kit. This is a really good investment. This kit comes with four blushes and honestly, the colors are really beautiful. Uh, here I'm just applying her fake uh, lashes with some duo eyelash glue. Moving on, um, I am using the Smashbox Primer Water. It's my favorite. And this is also my favorite highlighter from MAC. It's the Old Darling. Uh, I'm applying this on her tear duct just to add a, a little bit of highlight. And also as a highlighter. The reason why this highlighter is my favorite is because the shade of it is just so beautiful. It's like a really beautiful golden shade. And this shade just goes perfect with every skin tone. Now, moving on to lips, I am using the I Love Sada E X Colourpop uh, lipstick. Um, it's in the color 951. This color, it's perfect for every skin tone. Like every time they have it on sale, I always buy like four of them because it's my favorite. It's just like a really pretty shade. I don't know so pretty anyways <laughs> now uh, to hide the glue from the eyelashes I am using my favorite NYX liquid eyeliner and um, here I'm just adding a little bit of the Smashbox primer water again and then now moving on to her hair uh, I just apply a little bit of heat protectant. I get this one at Sally's and it smells so good uh, to curl her hair i am using a wand um i got this one um on christmas um years ago and it still works so good but i think i'm due for a new one uh but yeah i just like to use a wand i feel like it's faster to curl the hair and the curls look so so pretty so i'm just doing it in sections because her hair was so long and she has a lot of hair by the way she's my niece and i don't know if you guys can tell if she looks like me i think she kind of looks like me when i was younger so yeah i was excited to do her makeup and hair because her quinceanera is coming up and i'm gonna be her makeup artist and yeah these were just for her invitations so yeah you know just making her look so beautiful more beautiful than she already is <laughs> So yeah, just let me know in the comments below if she looks like me or if I'm just tripping. <laughs> but anyways, look at my baby in the back just being silly like always. My little Giovanni. <laughs> and also, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the foundations I use. Um, I feel like I have more time right now than I did when I was actually applying her makeup. Uh, I like to use the Maybelline foundation if you are just starting to do makeup that's the foundation I highly recommend it's uh, really affordable and I feel like it's just it's so beautiful like the foundation itself it's one of my favorite drugstore foundation and you can really beat the price I also use MAC foundations but that one is more heavy on the skin I feel like it is um, and the Maybelline is perfect uh and the price like i said you can't beat the price um so yeah that's just a little tip and also the anastasia uh, blush kit i highly recommend that one it's a i mean it's not affordable but it's like 40 something dollars so it's pretty much like 10 dollars a blush but you get four blushes and the colors are amazing um and i mean yeah you can really just go with that one if you are looking for some of that if you guys want more tips on what i use just let me know in the comments below and i will try to talk more about them but yeah here i'm just curling her bangs <laughs> and adding a little bit of hairspray i like to use this one because it doesn't get the hair hard like it just leaves the hairstyle the way i want it but it doesn't make it like so hard because honestly i hate using hairspray i mean i use it on my clients i just really don't use it on myself so i like to use that one because it just it smells good and it doesn't make your hair hard 
but um, on her hair I'm doing a little French braid on the side I love braids I feel like braids just make everything perfect and beautiful I don't know braids are just so pretty so I just decided to do uh, a French braid and just uh, put her hair all to the other side um, and yeah so here I'm just uh, doing her braid and you can just watch me to see how I do my braid <laughs> I don't know every time I do a hairstyle I always ask if they want a braid I love braids um, I feel like they just make a hairstyle look 10 times better is that only me or everybody else thinks that <laughs> and um, at the bottom of the braid I'm just using a little elastic and I'm just gonna hide it with some bobby pins in the back of her head and yeah so this was the hairstyle I did on her it was pretty simple right uh, here I'm just adding a little you know like hair accessory I feel like it was just gonna tie everything together and it was just gonna make everything look much better and more classy I don't know <laughs> and that's me hey <laughs> all right guys well i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh if you guys do and if you guys like this kind of videos when i just do like a talk talk through video you know just explaining everything i do let me know in the comments down below i will try my best to do more like this it was fun talking to you guys and that's it see you guys on my next video bye